What's happening YouTube? Captain Ron here, uh, uploading my very first video to my channel. So welcome to my channel. If you guys have never been here before, I can understand. I don't have anything to watch until now. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do a toolbox tour of my new toolbox. You guys remember back on Rust Belt's channel, we did a toolbox tour of my toolbox that I got when I first became a mechanic about a year and a half ago. Kind of small at that point. A lot of the stuff you're probably gonna see again, but I have since upgraded, put some new tools in there, and we're gonna go over everything I've got in my toolbox, plus some new information for the channel, what you guys can expect, what you guys can see, and probably have some fun too. So stay tuned. All right guys, the wait is over. Here is the unveiling of my new toolbox. Dun, 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 dun. Toolbox number two for Captain Ron. It is a gloss black with chrome purple trim master series. Um, I actually picked this up at a Snap-on customer appreciation event that we had about uh, a couple months ago and uh, my snap-on rep was kind enough to give me a very gracious deal on it so uh, yeah I couldn't uh, I couldn't pass it up so now I have a bigger toolbox for more tools um, and it is in one of my favorite colors which is purple uh, obviously so new toolbox nice and big it's got the bed liner top to it so I don't have to worry about scratching or dinging up anything. It's, uh, yeah, it's really nice and I really enjoy it. So let's take a look inside. The very top drawer. Kind of looks as similar to my top drawer of my old toolbox. Uh, I got all my sockets in here. Got my swivel sockets, got my impacts, all my other sockets, miscellaneous stuff. Did pick up some new ratchets. Got to have ratchets that match your toolbox, right? So I've got a purple quarter inch, got a purple three eighths, got my purple half inch. Eventually we'll have a bunch more purple stuff in here. Still got my half inch stuff, uh, SAE stuff that I don't really use. Got to have a Snickers bar, you know, if you're hungry, why wait? So got to have knacks. Uh, some old impact sockets back here, some more SAE stuff up here. That uh, infamous Pittsburgh ratchet that is freaking backwards. For those of you that don't understand what I mean by backwards, this is what I mean by backwards. That says off, that says on. Oops, let's try that again. That says off. That says on, backwards, Harbor Freight, you lie to us, ah, no, we'll keep it. It's my first ratchet I actually bought from my toolbox, so it's got sentimental value if anything. Got all my uh, bits in here, more sockets, everything's nice and labeled. One of these days, I'll switch from a paint pen to an actual tray, but uh, for now, it works. So yeah, that's pretty much the top drawer. Allen's and uh, my Torx. Missing a 45, cause 45 sitting up here, all broken. So anyways, top drawer, done. Next drawer down is my plier drawer. Still got my set of pliers, all my miscellaneous stuff, my snap ring pliers, my vice grips. Got picked this up new. Well, it's not new, but it's new to the toolbox. Somebody had uh, traded this in, 50 bucks on the Snap-on cart or Snap-on truck in the used bin. I was like, uh, yes, please, I'll take that, even if it breaks. Snap-on, warranty, love it. Uh, let's see, miscellaneous pry tools, Allen key sets. Uh, brought home, brought from home my little tiny screwdrivers in case I ever need them. Just a little set there, but 
no big deal there but uh, yeah plier drawer got expanded and uh, looking a little more full than what it did last time third drawer down this one is the one that's looking a little bit sparse look at all this room for improvement and area up here screwdrivers pick set missing one womp womp a couple uh, pry tools I did pick up this uh, Matco pick set not too terribly bad I needed some I needed some long picks for uh, doing radiator and hose work so he had them on sale and I was like yeah I need them so see not everything in here snap on I got Matco stuff in here too next drawer down still got a lot of room for improvement all kinds of space in here basically just storage for an air chuck that's about it with that wrench drawer also got lots of room in here still same old same old sets of wrenches up in, uh, coming up in about three months or so I'm probably gonna be doing a uh, probably gonna be doing an upgraded purchase to my uh, to some of my stuff I need to I need to rust belts calling me he's gonna have to wait so yeah in about three months or so I'm going to be uh, making a purchase for some more improved tools in my toolbox so this drawer here completely empty I got a uh, rust belt gave me a tack life socket set for me to take to school when I need to go to school so that's my to go uh, ratchet set ratchet and socket set so uh, we'll we'll do a review over these maybe in a later video or something because um, I want to start doing some reviews on some tools as well so and bottom drawer is miscellaneous stuff um, pry bars got my uh, I bought one of these it is a serpentine belt removal tool picked it up uh, some guy was selling it online for like 40 bucks so I was like yeah I'll take that for 40 bucks especially when it's like 80 or 90 on snap-on so got it for free or not for free for cheap got my torque wrench big torque wrench back here still nice and pretty and shiny don't worry I actually use it but nine times out of ten if I need a torque wrench they're either hanging on the wall or um, I use Kyle's uh, tech rent or tech angle tool or yeah tech angle torque wrench this one here papers clang papers clang nothing important there more books school books oh bring it on bring it on is there even a movie in here nope i lost that movie you know what we're gonna do with that right over there that was though what i used to test the pro masters so i got this horse movie yeah second chances tell me i left the dvd in here yep it's in there we'll keep that one so yeah, just a bunch of student workbooks in there. A DVD in case I need a test DVD player. Look, nothing in that one. Old Christmas card. And a bag of pistachios. Mmm, Max. You're gonna see a theme when you in here. Another junk drawer that's just kind of holding stuff. Max, bag of popcorn, box for my angle grinder, which we'll get to that in a minute. Wiring harness, some uh, foam tape nothing too exciting in there all right other side of the toolbox catch all drawer keys to Kyle's toolbox and just a bunch of miscellaneous crap second drawer is all my electrical stuff got a meter in here safety glasses nice blue point uh, uh, wire stripper I like this a lot. Whoops, come here you. I like this, you put the wire in there and just go. And it's stripped and done. No fuss, no muss. Except for when you need to get it closed with one hand. There you go. Uh, extension leads, extension leads, test light, meter, tape, 
another pair of strippers back here a bunch of zip ties you know electrical stuff next one after that air tools got my ratchets my die grinder half inch three eighths bottle of ibuprofen for when you get headaches you know gotta be prepared next one down is electrical drawer got uh I won this over uh, Truckmaster had a uh, uh, truck meet that Kyle and I went to and they were doing a giveaway and I won an AC Delco quarter inch impact so I keep it in here and it's handy to have doesn't have too much power behind it but it's handy to have and I got my 14 four screw gun good old Harbor Freight micro torch for when I gotta do heat shrink and stuff. Got two pairs of, uh, two sets of Milwaukee drill bits. These drill bits are really nice, actually. Let me get it open here and I'll show you. So these drill bits, this set here actually comes with a bunch of duplicates, but they've got these tips to them. Let me see if I can show you, right here. So they've got these tips to them that actually do like a pre-drill pilot hole and then they'll drill the rest of it. And the other nice thing is, is that they are chucked. So you could get one out of here. There we go. They're actually chucked so I can use them in my screw gun and not have to worry about anything. So if you guys like drill bits or need drill bits, this is what I recommend. I love this set. I don't have a part number for it, but the red helix and they actually are really nice. Uh, I got a blue point set of extensions, which are chucked as well. Those are good for some uh, taking shrouds off vehicles and stuff like that. They're really nice to have. Use those quite a bit. God, look at that purple. I just love that. It's hammer time. Hammer, hammer, hammer. Claw hammer. I still have. You know what? I've had this in here ever since I started in the automotive industry and I've never used a claw hammer. I really don't know why I have this in here, but we're gonna put it back in the toolbox because I don't have any place else to put it. Another junk drawer full of booklets, bowls for foods, whatever might happen. Ice scraper, gotta have one of those, although I got one over there too. And last but not least, another random junk drawer with a big bag of chippies my uh, speed wax for my cleaning up my toolbox my radiator um, bleed uh, bleeding canister extra oils stuff like that this however right here is a box obviously but uh, I got these when I bought these wobble extensions so when I bought those, they were like, hey, we're running a deal. You get a pair of Snap-on socket Bluetooth speakers. And they are actually pretty awesome. I keep them up here on my tool, on top of my toolbox, but they are a 10 millimeter Snap-on socket, but they both pair together for left and right audio, or you can use one by itself, depending on what you want to do. But they are actually some pretty decent speakers. I use them on like weekends when I'm here, stuff like that. And uh, they're pretty nice. So got my laptop up there, put my forms in. If you guys haven't seen that, go over to Rust Belt's channel and uh, check out how to make a Google form to track your flat rate. This is where I do that. Got my iPad, all my charging stuff. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it with the toolbox tour. Got my old cart here from Kyle. Got my other blue cart over there. Got my sit-upon right here. I actually, we had some uh, old rims. I took them and welded them together and painted them black. And if I need to take a sit for a minute, that's where I sit. So, but yeah, that's pretty much it with the toolbox tour. Uh, got one graphic on here, Mr. JRC. People probably give me shit for putting uh, a vinyl on front of on the front of my toolbox but you know what it's my toolbox i do what i want so soon there will be another one right next to it for mr rust belt 
so but other than that guys we are about 15 minutes in so i'm gonna call it that for right now uh hope you guys enjoyed the toolbox tour um i will uh try to let you guys know when i get some new stuff uh, right now like i said it's just with me finishing up school uh, i will be putting in an order for some more tools here soon so as i get more tools i'll let you guys know um something to look forward to the channel i'm going to be doing a series for the aspiring technician or somebody who's wanting to get into the industry just like i did i came from a cable background of 10 years and jumped into an automotive industry that honestly i didn't really know a whole lot about and i'm honestly glad to say that i did it because it was probably one of the best decisions i've ever made so I'm gonna go through some steps on what you need to do if you want to become a technician. It's never too late. I'm 36 years old and I made a career change a year ago. Not knowing if it would work or not, but it's working. I'm happy with it. So I'm gonna do a series on what you need to do, what you can look into, what you can look forward to uh, in a automotive setting, I guess you could say. Um, we'll go over how to do uh, some basic stuff too, how to do proper oil change and inspections, how to use that tire machine, how to balance tires, um, how to rack a car properly, you know, just general stuff that you might need to know how to do in a automotive field. Uh, if you want to be a full-time tech, there's going to be stuff, there's stuff you're going to need to know. I'll be more than happy to tell you how to do it. So. Stay tuned for those that in the future. Um, I'm gonna try to put out at least a video a week. Um, and I'm also gonna try to plan on doing a live stream on Saturday nights. Um, if you guys would go back and look at my other video I've got posted, I've got one video that is a live stream of me playing a game called Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, basically working on cars, but I don't have to get dirty. I get to sit at a computer and do it. So I uh, still have the diagnost diagnostic aspect to it. Uh, just a little bit different since you're doing it in simulation. So guys come by this Saturday, check that out, hang out with me. Uh, we'll play some games and have a lot of fun with that. So until then, this is Captain Ron signing out. You guys have an awesome week and we'll see you later.